Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry Though Meghan Markle was the most beautiful woman he'd ever seen. As we get older, most of us learn that fairy tales don't actually exist. However, if you're lucky, you might find a partner who makes you feel like magic. Despite everything that they've been through, Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex still have that magic that drew them to one another when they first met. The Sussexes' lives have changed drastically since meeting in the summer of 2016. They'd been engaged, gotten married, had their son, Archie Harrison, resigned from their roles as senior working royals and moved to Meghan's hometown of Los Angeles. Through it all, their relationship has remained rock solid. In fact, Prince Harry was mesmerized by the activist from the moment he saw her. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle met on a blind date. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's love story began in London in the summer of 2016 on a blind date. Prince Harry was interested in finding someone he could connect with and Meghan was newly single and visiting London for work. Meghan and Prince Harry's mutual friend, fashion designer Nisha Nanu, set them up. The pair agreed to meet up at the exclusive Soho House's Dean Street townhouse. Initially, Meghan was less than impressed because the Duke was a little late, but that changed quickly. Prince Harry said of their first meeting, I'm really going to have to up my game here. Sit down and make sure I've got good chat. According to Finding Freedom, Harry and Meghan and the making of A Modern Family by Carolyn Durand and Omid Stavi, the Sussexes talked for hours, met again the next day for dinner, and for their third date, they flew to Botswana. Meghan Markle thought Prince Harry was charming. While the prince was immediately smitten, Meghan didn't initially reveal how charmed she was by her future husband. However, she understood just how interested he was by the time she arrived at her hotel after that first date. According to Finding Freedom, his messages were often short and full of images, in particular the ghost emoji, which he often used instead of a smiley face. For what reason? Nobody knows. But Megan found his texting etiquette funny and adorable, just like the Prince. He definitely didn't hide the fact that he was keen. He wanted her to know he was very interested. Prince Harry thought Meghan Markle was the most beautiful woman he'd ever seen. During their engagement interview with BBC, Prince Harry explained why it was so important for them to get to know each other without the noise of the press and public intervening. Those months where their relationship remained a secret were crucial. May friend revealed in Finding Freedom. Almost immediately, they were almost obsessed with each other. Wow, Prince Harry reportedly told a friend after his first date with Meghan. According to Finding Freedom, the most beautiful woman I've seen in my life, the friend added, Harry knew they would be together at that point. She was ticking every box fast. The Duchess was equally smitten, allegedly telling a friend, do I sound crazy when I say this for her legs? Another analysis. Prince Harry initially refused Queen Elizabeth's offer for a trial period for Mexit. Despite their best intentions to be modern and approachable, the British royal family is still very much entrenched in traditions with elements of elitism. Since they act as the face of the UK and its Commonwealth, Individualism isn't necessarily encouraged. Instead, all of the senior working royals represent Queen Elizabeth. It was something that Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, was ill-prepared for when she married Prince Harry in May 2018. Not only was the Duchess used to having total control of her image, her relentless work ethic, and differences put her in direct opposition of royal staffers and the press. Unfortunately, the royal family was unable to help Meghan feel more settled or protected in her role. The end result was her and Prince Harry's decision to resign from their roles. 
The pair officially ended their royal tenure in March 2020, but Queen Elizabeth has put a 12-month review in place. Queen Elizabeth isn't convinced Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's non-royal life will work. Though the Queen was well aware of the Sussexes' unhappiness, especially as Meghan was relentlessly bullied in the British tabloids and press, she could not have anticipated makes it. Still, she is sensitive to what the young couple is going through. Royal biographer Robert Lacey said, She has a particular sensitivity to what Harry has been going through because of her closeness to Margaret and seeing the same dramas and tensions played out two generations ago. Still, just because she's sensitive to the Sussexes, feelings doesn't mean the Queen believes they will be successful in their new lives. After all the coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic has already greatly derailed the launch of the couple's new venture, Arcoel. Queen Elizabeth has put Mixit under a 12-month trial period in an effort to give Prince Harry and Meghan some wiggle room in case their plans fall through. Queen Elizabeth has implemented a 12-month review on Mexit. In the Channel 5 documentary, Royals, A Family in Crisis, Julie Montague, Viscountess Hinchingbrook, explained, putting that 12-month review in place goes to show you that the Queen will be watching it like a hawk. She will want to see everything that they are doing, what they are making money from, and how it is affecting the royal family. So there must be some concern from the Queen about what their intentions are. How the Sussexes earn money without capitalizing on the royal family is of major concern. More still, even if Prince Harry did want to return, it's highly unlikely that Meghan will be welcomed back to the UK and the royal fold with open arms. Prince Harry initially refused Queen Elizabeth's offer for a trial period. Though the Queen has put the 12-month review in place as a safety net for the Sussexes, Prince Harry initially rejected it. It appears that the prince had been deeply unhappy with royal life for some time and with Meghan by his side. He was keen to make a clean break. A royal insider explained. He was adamantly opposed to the review process. Do I rule out them taking on roles for the family in the future? Absolutely not. But a full, scale return soon is not likely. That is not down to animosity or anything like that. They have not yet reached what they were seeking to do. Under no circumstances would they ever admit this was a big mistake. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.